Over the last week, you may have seen many people wearing what I'm wearing today, the new Apple Vision Pro. Today, we're going to talk about all things tech, prop tech, and how it might change all of the buying decisions when you buy your next investment and property moving forward. I've got the Allsub Allsub website in front of us, and for anyone that's wondering, it will absolutely blow your mind when you try some of these and, and really how it affects business. The home buying experience or people buying real estate is a big opportunity to make it more immersive or make it more informative. You've gone into a house yep. and you've just walked through that house into the yard through the living room. When you're there, it's like you're in the living room. It is absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> Over the last week, you may have seen many people wearing what I'm wearing today, the new Apple Vision Pro. Today, we're going to talk about all things tech, prop tech, and how it might change all of the buying decisions when you buy your next investment and property moving forward. My name is Carl Allsop. I'm the CEO of Allsop and Allsop, Dubai's leading real estate agency. And I'm joined by Louis Allsop, who is the chairman. Wow, this is going to be the weirdest podcast I've done. It's a man with like ski goggles on that uh, has information in front of his eyes. Hopefully, during this podcast, we're going to show you what I can see. And let me just say to anyone that's thinking, what the hell is he wearing? It's a new device by Apple. It's basically uh, 3D virtual reality. And I, what I'm seeing right now, which hopefully we'll be able to show you, I've got the Allsop Rules website in front of us. And for anyone that's wondering, it will absolutely blow your mind when you try some of these. And... What I want to do today to see, does, is this a fad? <laughs> does it have a purpose? And will it change real estate moving forward? What do you think? I think it's going to affect our relationship moving <laughs> forward. You sitting there with the ski goggles on looking at me. Uh, so I've just tried these off camera. I think one of the reasons we, we want to talk about this is how is it going to impact people's lives, like you said. Um, and really how it affects business and people moving forward. So one of the things that we want to talk about really is let's just start with the real estate side of things. Um, off camera a moment ago, I think we're going to pull a little snapshot of what we did off camera. But basically, we've just done a uh, 3D walkthrough tour with your glasses on, Apple Vision Pro. Yes. Uh, where well, you've just gone onto Zillow in America. Yeah. You've gone into a house. Yeah. And you've just walked through that house into the yard through the living room. I said this to someone earlier on. I said, oh, you can't you do it on your phone? Let me tell you now. We'll show you in a moment. When you're there, it's like you're in the living room. It is absolutely unbelievable. And someone said to me, well, what's the purpose of them? You know, well, I said, five, 15 years ago, when the iPhone wasn't around, you didn't have apps. Mm. So this thing will really only be as good as what applications will be on here. And I really think but what the, the home buying experience or people buying real estate... It's a big opportunity to make it more immersive or make it more informative. I'll give you an idea of where I think the real estate market could go with this. Now, some people are calling it a fad um, because if you remember 15 years ago, we bought uh, Google Glass, what they called. Yep. And they didn't have the apps that link up to everything now. But I believe at some way, shape or form, wearables, they already are a massive thing with the Apple Watches. But this, at some point, will transition into normal life. Now, if I look at our day-to-day -day job and what we do, Let's just talk about viewings. We were talking off camera a moment ago. We we're talking about how we think it can impact an agent. Imagine doing this video. You stand in there, you do your viewing, you do the 3D tour. Hey, this is the kitchen top, the marble top. Clicking on the marble top is from Italy. It's this, this, and this. Have a look at this. Here's the view. I'm going to walk up to the balcony and then sending that to 100 people and say, come on a view with Lewis Allsop. Do you think that would be beneficial to a client? I think the more people that have this, the more people will look back at seeing photographs on a website right now as how we see looking at property details in the newspaper. Yeah. It will be such an old fashioned way of looking at a website and just normal 2D static images and thinking, I don't, I, this, this is rubbish. It's not enough information. So I actually think the way this is going, portals could potentially be newspapers. I'm pretty sure they'll have something like this moving forward, but I really do think it'll be a big difference to how people expect to see property listings moving forward. Yeah, I think the big thing with the tech is not the software, it's getting the hardware um, ingrained into people's lives. I mean, look how long it took Apple Watches. You know, Apple, I'm not wearing a watch from a, a computer watch. I've got my Rolex, whatever it may be. If you look at it now, you've got 
uh, your heartbeat sensor, your oxygen sensor, your footsteps. You wear it to football, you wear it to the gym. Like, people wear it for Apple Pay. Like, it's ingrained now into our lives. So I'm interested to see how that... Well, listen, my wife was a big... She was probably one of the biggest obstacles. So she, she'd probably be a normal client where she massively, like, questioning, what is the point of this? I stuck it on her for, like, a couple of minutes and said, just try that. And she was absolutely blown away to think... So what, what could happen? But like sitting there, we're sitting in our bedroom watching Willy Wonka the movie and she's like, oh my God, this is unbelievable. The kids tried it. And I just think when people try it and use it, they'll they'll really think, wow, like this is real. Okay, so let's talk about other companies that use uh, the purchases for uh, things to purchase via tech. So one of them I've got hit written here is if you look back in the 90s, early 2000s, you'd go to a car showroom and then you look at Tesla now, you go onto a website and you pick the wheel trims. You go on and you pick uh, the colour, the the indoor, outdoor. He's pinching the screen as we speak. I'm actually going on the Tesla website while you're doing that. Okay. And the same thing with Rolls Royce now. I mean, I was on the Rolls Royce website doing what I normally do, pretending to look at cars. And you can actually make your car down to the trim, the colour exterior, and then you can click order and it will come. Um, and I think that there's a, so much more tech putting me up and you <laughs> sitting there just pinching the middle of the air. Uh, but would you purchase a car from a website? I have bought Tesla's from a, from a website before. Do you know what? I don't want to go in and sit in the showroom and go through an old brochure and look at all the different options. I want to see right, what the spec is, what the quick color is, what the price is, what when it's going to delivered, how much do I pay? That's it. That's I don't want loads of like fuss and fluff. And do you know what? I think in the world we're in, where people want things a lot quicker, it wouldn't surprise me more manufacturers are going that route where you can actually go online and order your car online. I think Amazon yeah. are actually talking about having link ups of car showrooms so you can actually order your car on Amazon and then eventually have it delivered. Well, you can you can deliver a car now, can't you? Uh, what's that company you use in the UK? Uh, Kazoo. Kazoo, you go on, pick it. You buy it online and they deliver it in a truck the same day or next day? I'm just trying to test the website now. So I'm actually looking at a model buy right now. I can click the model. And hopefully they'll, they'll be able to show this. I can see my colors, my wheels, and then what color I want inside. And then when it gets delivered. I mean, that's just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. More car find manufacturers need to do this. Very, very good. He's going back good. to Amazon, even eBay doing the same thing. eBay. You can go online, you can see a car, they'll get it delivered. It all comes back to like, people at the palm of the hands thing, they all want things a lot quicker. And going back to the, these Vision Pros, I think if you are a developer today, this is a massive opportunity for you to be able to get this, your, your inventory out to more people, mm -hmm. more people that probably have disposable income to be able to afford crazy stuff like this. Yeah but be able to get a further reach of that's where this one in America, Africa, wherever it might be, where are you can show them the community, the tower, what the facilities look like, what the apartment is. And do you know what? Guess what? I can even show you the view of the exact palm you're going to buy. Imagine that. You can say today, someone's going to be built in three years' time. I'm going to show you the exact walkthrough of the, the apartment and I'm going to show you what your view might look like. Yeah, I think, I think it just gives people... Um, it would give people confidence in terms of what they do. I mean, like I said to you before, I talked before about it, but doing that active viewing where you could, I mean, your screen is recording right now, isn't yes. it? So if you were a developer, you could do a walkthrough in the development and say, this is the pool, this is this, this is this. You talk through it a bit like the way you're screen recording your phone and send it to a client. In terms of... I'm just going to do so right now. So you, Lewis won't, won't get this, but I'm going to re record on his screen. I'm actually going to go on Zillow's site at the moment, or Zillow's at Vision Pro app. And what you'll be able to see is... On the, on the recording, a complete 360 degree view of a property listing. I mean, no. yeah, it's unbelievable. I can pick different rooms. So I'm here at the entrance of the moment. I'm going to click the garden area. But now I'm actually sitting in the garden. Unbelievable. So I'm not having to go and look at a property. I'm not having to look at four in 2D images. I can actually see everything right now. I'm going to another room. I'm going to say, right, I'm going to go to the uh, family room upstairs. Okay, well, family room. Again, I'm sitting in the family room, and I can imagine what it's like living there. This is what home's going to be. Absolutely amazing. Are you buying? Might be one. Look, we've got a 3D floor plan as, as well, which we we'll spin around and see the exact floor plan in 3D. It's all so weird looking at them big fly glasses on though. Okay, so 
we've talked about real estate and tech. Um, I want to just uh, touch very quickly on life, business, other things that tech world have affected. One of them was two. Well, there's two things I was about. One of them is a bank, very impressive. Weo Bank. Yes, I'm about Weo Bank. Um, so in the UK, I, 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 there's a couple of banks that I like banking with Monzo and also uh, Revolut. So basically, it's a a platform bank which basically everything you do is in your phone. There's no branches. There's no nothing. Everything is done in your phone. It all comes back to instant gratification, doing things quickly. Weo Bank is a bank which opened last year. Very similar situation where it was backed by Etisalat, I think, where one of the big banks in, in Abu Dhabi. And you can set up a bank in less than 10 minutes with your Emirates ID and have everything done, no waiting around, no paperwork, all done in your app straight away, immediately. You have a credit card pretty quickly. You can have a savings account up to, up to 5% or more. Question on the credit card. If you ordered a credit card on WeO, yeah. would it digitally send you the e-credit card? Or yeah, it's send you the you get an Apple Pay. That's it. Straight away, Apple Pay. Uh, within like seconds, if you, if you have your, your bank card. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you why I say that. I mean, I bank with a very big bank in Dubai and they're a good bank, but I, I'm trying to put a fixed deposit. Well, I have put a fixed deposit into accounts. So basically, you put money into a holding account for them for 30 days or three months and they'll pay you interest on that money. So I did that and it was just bringing me the forms, printing the forms, sending them back to get approval. How do you do that on WeO? So to get credit card, we owe basic something popped up. You want a credit card? You click a button. Yes, it then says we're speaking to uh, Dubai Central Bank. It takes about thirty seconds. Then comes back with your decision. It says you can borrow X, literally within seconds. And what's amazing is if you if you use your credit card, you also get cash back, um, which goes back into your account at the start of each month, and you can automatically invest that money into stocks and shares which are in the app. So you could get. Two and a half thousand dirhams cash back from Weo Bank and say, I want to use that two and a half thousand dirhams to invest in Apple stock every month automatically without doing anything. Is cash back free money? Yes. I've never had cash back in my life. Oh, some banks may be charging lots of interest. So they've not been it. They've got high overheads. Yeah. Obviously, these uh, Weo Bank, they don't have lots of branches, so they can afford to give a bit more money back. Yes. But anyone that's not seen Weo Bank and lives in the UAE, just try it. I don't think you'd probably go back to it. Okay, uh, on to the property uh, tech world stake. Yes. Uh, one of probably the best startup funded businesses that I've seen in recent times. Uh, stake is a online platform where you can buy a, a minor portion or a major portion of a property. You pull it between people, take a percentage of the property, depending on how much you put in. Uh, you receive a rental income and more impressively, you get a percentage title lien within your name. And that's all set up by a DIFC and a DLD. Uh, so if you've got 500 dirhams, if you've got 500,000 dirhams or 5,000 dirhams, you can go and buy into a property. Now, why I'm saying that is I actually bought into a property in Dubai Marina from them. Just to test it, we were talking with their, their company and we do a bit of work together. And they said, go try it. So I put 3,000 dirhams into uh, into this company, uh, sorry, into this property. I now own 0.2% of this shit property, but I got 12 dirham rent every month. It's 12 dirhams I didn't have before. It's a free packet of crisps. And you will probably get an uplift on the property value as and when they decide to sell it. It's so clever because what they're, what stake are doing now is regardless of how much money you earn or your appetite to invest, there is no now no barrier to entry in owning real estate. You can own real estate for as little as 500 euros today. Crazy. Crazy. And we're evolving them. We are? We are. We are. Okay. And the last one I want to talk about that's going to affect bit, what is affected businesses. It's a very basic one, but some people don't know about it. The APIs with companies like Zapier where you can get... Basically, if you don't know that much about tech and business, APIs are two-way streams that talk to each other where you can get software talking to other software to create action. So one of the APIs that we talk about is we have Salesforce, which is our CRM, and then we will have WhatsApp. And we have got triggers where if you do something on the all sort of website or you book a viewing, we confirm this via WhatsApp. We've got two companies talking. I think APIs for communication and technology is a massive part of businesses. Yeah, and the thing is, a lot there's a lot of legacy businesses out there that are not prepared to allow information to go in and go out. But I think in the world we're in now, most businesses want to be able to share information quickly, get information back. Um, 
So yep. DataHub is one of them. Yeah. If you want to use your screen. So yeah, I'm actually looking at also, but also .com, DataHub, which is basically a partnership we have set up with Property Monitor, and they allow us to have live data of all the properties that sold and rented in Dubai. So currently right now, I am on my screen looking at properties in Jumeirah Golf States that have sold two bedrooms in the last 180 days. And my screen shows me bedrooms, the apartment, the unit number, the price, and the price per square foot of all the properties that have sold. And the key thing as well is if you are a nosy neighbor and you live in Al Andalus Tower C, you can see all of your neighbors, what they've sold for, so you keep track of exactly. You look so creepy doing. doing it soft, with a soft hand. You're doing it really soft. Oh, you were doing it earlier on. You are doing this like crazy crab thing. That moving things up and around. It was just creepy though. It's just nice, just <laughs> nice, and, <laughs> a nice soft touch. But all the things here on, on, on data hub, I've got right here in front of me. So anything we can do, we've, uh, we've got data from all the developments. So if I look at downtown here, for example, you see all downtown properties. I can look at rental properties, and then search. So again, if you're a homeowner, even if you're a landlord or a seller, you see to see what's going on in the marketplace. This information isn't by us. It's not. You're not also an also data. This is third-party cleanse data from DLD and Dubai Property Monitor. You have to check this out. It's amazing. It can help save you money potentially. Well, thank you for listening to our uh, VIP version of the technology update for real estate uh, sponsored by Apple. We're not really sponsored by Apple. Look to be yeah. sponsored by Apple. Sponsored by uh, Raw Coffee from All Up and All Up. Yeah. Um, some incredible technology out there. I think this is uh, groundbreaking stuff. And if you are interested in tech, feel free to follow us. We talk a lot about tech and real estate. Just thing. remember, 15 years ago, the iPhone didn't exist. Where would we be in 15 years? We might not be in the same room together. Might be like, Hopefully might be at the moon same. or something. It's looking at you like Flyman sitting next to <laughs> me, hoping not in the same Thank you very much for listening, guys. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.